welcome to another Skyrim video. Now before we get into this, I will ask that if you find this video helpful, hit like. If you find it unhelpful, hit dislike. And if you want more content like this, hit subscribe. Now let's begin. So first things first, you will need SKSE64 in order to run these mods. If you do not have SKSE64, there is now a link at the top right hand corner of your screen that will show you how to download and install SKSE64. For SKSE 64 on the forms itself, as you can see on the screen. First, that we're going to do, we're going to click standalone. We're just going to download it here and we're going to leave it. We're going to move on to resources and that will download directly from Nexus Mods to your Vortex Mod Manager. So once you click it, it will start to download. You can go down and check yourself here. Boom, there it is. Perfect. Next is we're going to pick a billards. This is the commonly used one. Um, it's commonly used for multiple reasons, but mainly it's there's plenty of files, it's very compatible, and it's easy to use. There's also an option for vivid weathers. So yeah, download that. Next, we're going to download Papyrus. Yeah, you know, this is what we're going to download. I mean, Papyrus. There's a link to all these in the description. And um, so just download that again to your Nexus mods or not what's it called now Vortex your Vortex mod manager. Then we're going to download Sky UI. The reason we're going to download Sky UI is because we're going to need it for mod configuration. So even if you don't like the inventory layout in game, you can turn off the inventory settings for Sky UI. So you still have your normal inventory and normal Skyrim vanilla style layout, but you can use the mod configuration. Last but not least, you need Microsoft C++. Download the 64-bit file as highlighted on the screen. It will pop up down here. Click it. Install it. After you're done installing, it will ask you to restart your computer. Obviously, I can't reinstall it here because I already have it. Either way, you need to reset after you do it just so you know. Yeah, so that's the four main mods now downloaded that we need. All we have to do is install these in our mod manager. They'll pop up like this. Make sure they're all installed and enabled. The last one is the resource that just didn't install that time for some random reason. So I'm just going to click it again. Basically, once you install resources, there we go. Yeah, so this menu should pop up. Make sure core files are ticked. Select what visual settings you want. I always select all four and the board one as well if you select holy cow it puts a big cow in the middle of the map so i don't know i don't, I don't pick it now that this is installed we can move on and do our standalone our standalone will be in our downloads folder but if you go to the bottom of where it was downloaded and right click you can go show and folder as a shortcut once we come to where our downloads are, you will see we have Dulod with a internet symbol beside it. We're just going to extract it by hitting extract here. And there are our files. If you don't have 7-zip, you can also archive it. So there we are. And then we're going to add one of them files from the Dulod file. So the first file we're going to add is textgen64, this one here. And we're just going to put minus SSE for Skyrim Special Edition. And there it is. And now we're going to add the another file. So we go to the little file symbol again. And we go to dulod64. And hit open. And again minus SSE for Skyrim Special Edition. And hit save. And now you can see we have these two programs here beside our Skyrim Script Extender. So what we need to do first is we're going to need to run the text 64 program. We're going to run that first, or not program, executable. Once you run this, first make sure you have obviously everything enabled and your mods are all set up. Once you run this, it will run for a couple of minutes like this. You'll get a white screen, a black screen, a white screen. And then settings will pop up. These settings will allow you to choose how much detail you want. Essentially, you're better off just keeping them all like this if you just have a basic PC. Me personally, I tend to go for 512. I find 
512 is a nice number it's not too heavy that's what I do it's up to you you can mess around with it yourself I'm gonna hit 512 I'm gonna hit start it'll be the same thing you'll see white screen black screen a couple of minutes then you'll just get this you'll hit exit and it's done once you hit exit it saves it's done it's finito now all you have to do is go back to our files back to our do load folder go to our new one here text gen output right click on these textures 7-zip and add to archive and hit ok we do this so we can drop them into our mod section you see we get them as a piece of paper symbol instead of a folder symbol I'm keeping this very basic I know so we're gonna go down to our mods and you see we have a drop location we get the one with the piece of paper beside it and we drag it into the drop location not the folder one, the one with the piece of paper drag it in there and then we're gonna go here you can see it has textures hit install and then go up and enable it and that's now our texture pack put in now we're gonna download the do load 64 or not download, run sorry, the do load 64 executable same thing this one will run for a little bit longer there's more to run through it again you'll get settings these are more basic as in it's literally low medium or high i'm gonna click i'm gonna select all the locations from skyrim so you can see there just right click select all and then i'm gonna hit high <coughs> the reason i pick high is because i don't have any problems when i hit high that's why I would obviously recommend medium because you can never go wrong with medium, but yeah, I decided to go with high for this one. Again, let it run and then hit save and exit. Now that it's done, we're going to do the same thing that we just done for the text one. We're going to go back to our DoLod file. There will now be a new folder up here called DoLod Output. 7 zip it and archive it and hit OK. It will now archive again with a piece of paper beside it as a symbol. Again, we're going to go to our mods, we're going to grab it, and we're going to drop it in here. And hopefully, this is going to, there we go. Um, and then, yeah, install it. Maybe. There we go, right? So it's extracting the package. After it's installed, we'll go and we'll hit enable. Uh, enable all we should get some conflicts here because it has some other mods running don't worry about it with these with do lod and the tree mod you'll always get um, a suggestion just go with the suggestion it'll be fine nine times out of ten um because vortex will automatically kind of push these towards the bottom of your load order basically just rule of thumb don't let anything overwrite them you know like don't let any texture mods overwrite them but yeah that's it it's done, finished. I hope you enjoyed the video. Here's some screen captures of before and after. Big difference, as you can see. Now, as always, if this video was at all helpful, hit like. If it was unhelpful, hit dislike. And if you'd like more content like this, then hit subscribe. Either way, I hope you have a good day. I hope your mods work out. And hopefully I'll catch you all on the next one. Enjoy your day.